See this stuff right here? Rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. This will kill you and it's made to do so. So let's just take a look at what it's. So as you see there, it's for rubbing and massaging. It's also got winter green smell. Mm. That's all. Awesome. That's weird because that says use in well ventilated area. Fumes may be harmful. Says use in well ventilated area. Fumes may be toxic. Huh. How'd you make it smell so damn good if the fumes, like I'm supposed to have a fume hood like I'm in a chemistry lab before I use this? That's weird. And it's rubbing and massaging. So it's like, what? Wait a second. External use only? As what do they mean by external use? I thought this was like, I like to use this on cuts and shit like all the time. Like that's what I would use it for, right? It's cuts and burns and things like that. Like there's an opening in my skin that allows an entry into my body. And so you think to yourself, I don't want like bacteria to get in there because bacteria, the stuff that we're all made out of, basically that's what I'm worried about. Uh, but this shit here, just the fumes of it are toxic, huh? So yeah, that's what people do, right? They clean bites and piercings, you know, uh, eliminating oh, eliminating odors. That's great, right? Because you don't want to smell something bad when you can smell something toxic. That's great. Oh yes, household disinfectant and hand sanitizer. But it says right there, do not use for longer than a week. And then this one says, unless directed by a doctor, because now we've just shifted the blame and thus the liability onto your medical physician. Don't you like that? It's used to help prevent risk of infection on minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. Yeah, same thing. Minor. Doesn't that sound super duper subjective to you? Scrapes? What the hell's a scrape? Like is, like, is this a scrape? Like I just scraped myself. Like what's a scrape considered? And burn what? Like a first degree burn, second degree, third degree? Wait a minute, it says clean the affected area. Clean the that's the first. E and then it says apply a small amount of this product to area one to three times a day. Or sorry, daily. For a week. So no longer no longer than a week. One to three times. And you're supposed to clean the affected area first, although I thought this was the cleaning product. <laughs> well, at least it smells good while it's killing. Inhaling isopropyl can irritate the nose and throat. Repeated high exposure can cause headache, dizziness confusion loss of coordination and then de 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 death so glad we got this going on here intergreen <sighs> yummy everyone who's ever gone up against an agent has died but basically they live in a world based on rules and so you got to pay attention and reach it because they'll tell you what they're doing straight up but you got to look exactly where you don't want to so you're thinking to yourself, oh, that's some really small, fine print, little asterisk here, little, you know, one thing in a bracket that says you got to finish the information on the back of the book. You got to go there first and not read all the bullshit. In front. Stay safe out there, guys.